Washington, CNN, the State Department Inspector General fired by President Donald Trump on Friday, Steve Linick, had nearly completed an investigation into Secretary of State Mike Pompeo's decision to fast-track an $8 billion arms sale to Saudi Arabia, according to House Foreign Affairs Committee Chairman, Rep. Elliot Engel. I have learned that there may be another reason for Mr. Linick's firing. His office was investigating, at my request, Trump's phony declaration of an emergency so he could send weapons to Saudi Arabia. We don't have the full picture yet, but it's troubling that Secretary Pompeo wanted Mr. Linick pushed out before this work could be completed, Engel, a Democrat from New York, said in a statement to CNN Monday. Last May, the Trump administration declared an emergency to bypass Congress and expedite billions of dollars in arms sales to various countries, including Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates, citing the need to deter what it called the malign influence of Iran throughout the Middle East. These sales will support our allies, enhance Middle East stability, and help these nations to deter and defend themselves from the Islamic Republic of Iran, Pompeo said in a statement at the time, which put the value of the sales at $8.1 billion. But the move drew bipartisan condemnation, with lawmakers decrying the precedent it sets, questioning the administration's claims of an emergency and raising the issue of Saudi Arabia's human rights record and the killing of journalist Jamal Khashoggi. Now, Engel says Pompeo might have removed the federal watchdog who was looking into his handling of the arms sale. Linux Saudi Arabia investigation was first reported by the Washington Post. The revelation will increase scrutiny of Trump's firing of Linux on Friday evening, the latest in a series of dismissals of independent government watchdogs tasked with oversight of the president's administration. A senior State Department official previously confirmed to CNN that Pompeo recommended Linick be removed, but they did not know the reasons why. IG was also investigating whether Pompeo made a staffer perform errands. On Saturday, CNN reported that Linick was also investigating whether Pompeo made a staffer perform a variety of personal errands, including walking his dog, picking up dry cleaning and making a dinner reservation for him and his wife. But at this time, House Democrats say they do not yet know which investigation was the biggest factor behind the decision to dismiss Linick. I wouldn't assign percentages, a Democratic committee aide said. Democrats on both the House Foreign Affairs and Senate Foreign Relations Committees are interested in learning more about Linux investigations into Pompeo, and Engel emphasized the importance of cooperation from the administration in his statement Monday. The administration should comply with the probe I launched with Senator Menendez and turn over all the records requested from the department by Friday, he said, a reference to Senator Bob Menendez of New Jersey, the ranking Democrat on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. Trump's latest late-night firing of an inspector general as the media's attention was focused on the coronavirus pandemic that has claimed the lives of over 89,000 Americans, prompted immediate bipartisan criticism from lawmakers including Republican Senator Chuck Grassley of Iowa, a longtime proponent of inspectors general. As I've said before, Congress requires written reasons justifying an IG's removal. A general lack of confidence simply is not sufficient detail to satisfy Congress, Grassley said on Saturday, referring to the justification for Linux firing cited by Trump. Grassley told CNN's Manu Raju on May 4 that he did not think more legislation was necessary to protect IGs, saying, I think we have plenty of laws to protect inspectors general. An aide to Rep. Michael McCall, the top Republican on the House Foreign Affairs Committee, issued a statement Monday about Trump's firing of the Linux, joining Grassley, Senator Mitt Romney of Utah and Senator Susan Collins of Maine as the only Republicans to comment publicly on the matter. The State Department Inspector General performs essential oversight of the department, so it raises questions when one is removed. We are looking into the matter, Leslie Shedd, a spokeswoman for McCall, said. On Saturday, Romney called the firings a threat to accountable democracy. The firings of multiple inspectors general is unprecedented, doing so without good cause chills the independence essential to their purpose. It is a threat to accountable democracy and a fissure in the constitutional balance of power, he tweeted.